Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 80025, Monkey Kid's Galactic Explorer from the LEGO Monkey Kid theme. This set contains 1,356 pieces, 6 minifigures, and retails for $129.99 in the US. This set was sent to me by the LEGO group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, while opinions expressed in this video are my own. So this was the one January 2022 LEGO Monkey Kid set that did not review back in December because LEGO wasn't able to get this one out early to us, but luckily they were kind enough to send it later, so now it is finally here. And yeah, here we have the main part of the set, the spaceship itself, and and this thing is huge. This is a massive spaceship, and I think that's so cool. There's so much interior space in here, which I will show you in a moment. But before I show you it up close, I want to just take a moment to take in the entire thing from the outside. The colors on this thing are interesting. At first, I didn't think I'd like the Monkey Kid colors just because they don't really feel like spaceship to me. But honestly, having it in person, it does look very cool. I especially love the trans rat on the windshield. That's super cool. And I like how this section down here is kind of like in the shape of Monkey Kid's staff. I haven't seen season three of the show. I know it's out in not English, but I'm waiting for it to release in English to watch it. But I'm not sure if the staff itself turns into the spaceship or if this is just a spaceship that happens to be in Monkey Kid's colors. But regardless, it's a really wacky concept. I think Lego pulled off pretty well. You can also see, of course, like you saw in the box art and you see right here, this thing can stand up. Which is a nice option to have, but personally, I think it looks pretty good laying down, too. Because that was the spaceship more in, like, takeoff mode, this is it, like, when it would be soaring through space, and I think this looks incredible. So starting at the very front, there's some lacquered gold pieces right here. I honestly don't love these. Like, they look cool, but I don't know, the attachment seems weird. They don't, like, hug the sides of the actual vessel, they're just sort of coming out. And yeah, just something seems a little bit off about them to me. Not the biggest deal, I guess, I just sort of wish they were integrated a little bit better. But regardless, lacquered gold is always cool to get. I especially love the Nexonite shields in lacquered gold. Not sure we've gotten those ones before but regardless very very cool parts you also see we have our first cockpit here a little stickered piece right there and if we open it up there's room for one minifigure there's two printed like button console pieces right here i believe those have come in a few sets previously and they're strange because i believe they're new parts but they're designed to look like classic lego parts like this is the kind of stuff i remember getting in sets in like 2008 when i was a kid so even if stylistically they seem a little simple compared to everything else they're still very cool to get and then of course there's also a slightly more detailed console piece right here which is a sticker if you'd like to put a minifigure in right here just slide them in right there and there you can see a character can hold on to those handle pieces to like pilot the ship but when you're done in this area you of course can close that back up and just look how cool that trans red looks i love seeing that color i think that is my favorite part of this set and i think that could be really adapted into your own builds and used like with other colors to make stuff look really cool my first thought was like first order stuff i know the sequels aren't super popular but if you wanted to make like a first order mock this trans red would look amazing for that I'm getting off topic though, let's move to the next part of the set. So the next part in my opinion is the best part of the set and definitely my favorite part and that is the large interior. So you can see there is another huge red uh, windshield piece right here, sticker piece up here, a few more trans red pieces right there to add some extra detail. But all of that can be removed, and on the inside there is so much interior. I am genuinely just so impressed by how much space there is in here. And I really wish more vehicles from other LEGO themes would have this much interior. Because this is what I always wanted as a kid, just places to store my figures like when I'm playing with a set, like ways to put the figures in the vehicles. And sometimes LEGO does do that, but a lot of the time there's just not much room. But yeah, you can see there is four whole seats as well as walking space right here. So adding that to the seat up front, that's five total seats. And that is actually exactly enough for every member of the main Monkey Kid team. Because you get four of them in this set, Monkey Kid, May, Sandy, and Tang. But then in the Mooncake Factory, you also get Pigsy in a spacesuit, so that's a total of five characters, and I'm sure Mo could go somewhere in here too. And I just think that is such a fun touch. I really, really appreciate that they had room for all of them here. I'm going handheld with the camera now, so I apologize if it's a little bit shaky, but I want to show you guys the interior a little bit closer. You can see right here, there's two clips. One's holding a fire hydrant, the other one has like a walkie-talkie. You also have this bar piece directly across from that, and I'm honestly not entirely sure what that's supposed to be for. Probably to hold some sort of accessories or something, but I can't pinpoint like exactly what that's meant to do. So if anybody knows, please let me know in the comments. There's like this archway the characters have the walk under, and you can see this two clips where you can attach some of their accessories while they're not holding them. And then coming to the seats, you can see there's lots of different little operating panels as well as these screens with different stickers on them. This one has one of the rings on it. This one just has a bunch of different tabs open. On the other side, this screen has like a video game playing. This one has a little classic spaceman. And I like on this little control panel, there's a little picture of Mo. That's really cute. And you may have noticed, but I actually took off these big red window pieces to show you that area up a little bit closer, but I can attach them back on. And of course, on the other side too. And then with everything closed back up and figures inside, I think those red windows look incredible. Again, the trans red is by far the highlight of this set. I just feel like it really sets the tone for everything and looks incredible overall. There's also these cloud designs out the front, which are cute. I appreciate those. This sticker design that says MK with this orange design is actually in a few places on this set. It's here, it's also underneath, and there's two on the other side as well. It just adds a bit of extra detail. I appreciate that. Now moving back a little bit, we have these two builds that come out the sides. They have stickers on them with like these spray painted on little cloud designs. A little bit more trans red. There's 
also these vent pieces right here. Those look pretty nice. And then these, I think, are supposed to be like imaginary turrets. There is a spring-loaded shooter in there as well for it to be like an actual turret that you can shoot out. But these two pieces right here are, I think, what you're supposed to like actually imagine the uh, spring-loaded shooter shooting from. And honestly, I like them. It just sort of caught me off guard because usually LEGO sets have huge, like, over-exaggerated guns, and these are just tiny little turrets, but they look really nice. And I think they fit in with the overall spaceship design because this is a more realistic-looking spaceship. I, I know I say realistic and it's yellow and teal, but like the overall design is more like an actual spaceship and less like a Star Wars spaceship. So I like that they still included weapons in the ship, but it's not like too over the top. And of course you have the vents and the stickers and the turrets on the other side as well. Behind that you have these wings at the back with two more stickers, as well as some bright orange underneath that to add some like dimension to it. That again of course is on both sides, There's also a number right here, 6986. That's actually the set number of a classic space set, I'll put a picture of the set on screen for you guys all. Lego does that pretty frequently, but that's a cute little reference. And then around the very very back things look super cool, so you have four of these like large teal exhaust pipes, with like these trans orange dish pieces underneath that show like fire coming out, and then there's a huge one in the middle right here surrounded by lacquered gold pieces so many different lacquered gold parts they look incredible i especially love the gold bar pieces in lacquered gold i believe that was the original color those were originally introduced in but they look absolutely incredible like that and you get a total of four of them here i believe and yeah you can see the very top two more of the fun lacquered gold pieces there's also these two like cloud designs which I feel like are incorporated really well. The clouds are like a staple in pretty much every Monkey Kid vehicle, but I like how it feels like it's a part of the spaceship but still has like the mystical Monkey Kid feel to it. And then there is this big red rounded part in the center and that can actually be rotated. And on the other side of that you can see this is where they keep the green fire ring I guess for storage, as well as the compartment that if you lift this up holds this little tiny buggy. The buggy is cute, very simple, not too much going on, but I do like it. Another one of those like classic Lego printed console pieces right here. And the design of it's a little bit weird because you can't have all four wheels on the ground, you can only have two at once. But I believe the idea behind that is so that way you can climb up difficult terrain a little bit easier. Which doesn't feel the smoothest, but honestly, I think that's a pretty fair way to do that considering the very small size of this build. Regardless, it's a fun extra, totally unnecessary, but I do like it. But yeah, this is the place in the spaceship where that is stored. And you put this black bar over top of it to hold it still so when you turn it over, that way it doesn't fall out of the spaceship. I guess while we're here, I can show you the bottom of the spaceship. Not too much to say about it. Lots of anti-studs and whatnot. I see a sticker piece right here that's the same as the one we saw on the top that I mentioned before. The only kind of interesting thing is there's two clips right here, and that's where you're meant to attach an extra spring load shooter as well as Monkey Kid staff when you're not using them. That is always very appreciated. I love when sets will have ways to store like the extra things that come in the set, so I very, very much appreciate that. Other than that, though, it's kind of just ugly, but it makes sense since it's the bottom of the vehicle, you're not really meant to see it that much. Now, of course, the spaceship itself is the main middle of the set, but it is not the only build. There's also this little station on the side, and I guess that's like the launch station that it takes off from. It doesn't actually connect to the spaceship in any way, you just want to sit it beside it and that's how the minifigures can get in. But let's take a look at it up a little bit closer. So starting at the right of the build, you have a little printed piece right here. A tiny little bit of room to post figures, this printed piece also is able to spin, that's kind of unnecessary, but cool. Above that, there's two little radar dishes in teal with trans red coming out. I love these trans red antenna pieces behind them, those give me huge classic space vibes and I absolutely love seeing them here. Next to that is a little station that holds all the characters' space helmets. We'll take a look at the helmets themselves when we take a look at the minifigures, but you can see each of them can come off individually. And they're attached very simply, they just slide onto that bar piece right there. And there's room for a total of four of them. Now this is a really cool touch, so this is an octane gas tank, which we've gotten in plenty of sets because Octan is the Lego gas company. However, because this is a monkey set, this is Octan written in Chinese, I believe. Now, I personally cannot read Chinese, so I can't say for sure this says Octan, but this is the Octan logo, so that's kind of a cool touch to make it different from, like, every other set that's had Octan written in English. It's a really nice touch. There's a hammer and a wrench down here that can be removed, just pretty simple accessories. A few stickered slope parts, and then they use the roller coaster track piece to get you all the way up to the top. And this is the platform where you can stand minifigures and actually load them onto the ship, and when the ship's ready to take off, you can hinge this upward so it's no longer touching the ship. Yeah, it's well done. Pretty simple, but I like it. It reminds me a lot of there was an Overwatch set a few years ago that had a spaceship very similar to this and it had a build like this off to the side. But as a whole, this is a very good side build. I'm glad it's included. So here are the first two minifigures in the set, MK and May. All the figures in the set are very similar to each other. The spacesuits themselves are pretty much exclusive to this set. The torso does come in the Mooncake Factory on Pigsy, but he has mid legs in that set, so the legs on these are entirely exclusive to this set. And then the torso only comes in this set and that set. Regardless though, this spacesuit design is pretty good. I feel like it's not that over the top and flashy, like they could have made them like yellow and red, but they're just white like a normal spacesuit, but with a little bit of teal. And I honestly think that was the right decision, because they fit in really well with Monkey Kid, right? I could see like why why these fit on these characters, but if you want to use these for just like general regular spacesuits, they would work for that too. They're just white and teal with a little bit of gold detailing which looks super cool. 
Yeah, I love how these guys look. In terms of the heads, it's May and Monkey Kid, same hairpiece they've had since the first wave. May has her face print that was introduced last year in 2021, where she's got her winking face on one side and like a digital eye on the other. And then Monkey Kid actually has a pretty good face print in this set. This is one that's come in other sets before, but it's him like sighing and smiling. And I just feel like that face print is full of personality and I absolutely love that for him. The accessories here are unsurprisingly MK staff as well as May's sword. And then around the back you can see their alternate faces about Corso prints. Monkey Kid just has his generic sort of angry face. And May, there's that digital eye face print that I talked about before. Back of the torso is less universally useful than the front is. It's got like this space logo on it that's also sort of Monkey Kid themed because it's got a cloud instead of the spaceship. But still, I don't know. I feel like you could make these figures work outside of the world of Monkey Kid. But in the world of Monkey Kid, they are great. I absolutely love them. Here's how they look with their space helmets on. These space helmets, I believe, were originally introduced in a LEGO City wave a few years ago. But you could say they've got a red visor on the front. They can be flipped off if you want. And something unique about these guys as opposed to the LEGO City ones is it's dual molded with teal. The LEGO City ones were white, dual molded with black. This is white, dual molded with teal. So it's just a nice different look for these guys. There is also this jetpack attachment that's included in this set and the reason I'm showing it here is because it's not for any one character you can put it on like any of the spacesuits in this set. But yeah, I mean, it's a jetpack. He uses the ingot pieces in white, and it attaches with, like, the LEGO City Sky Police neck bracket right there. Yep, as a whole, I'm very satisfied with these spacesuits. Not much else to say on them. Next, we have Sandy and Tang in the same spacesuits. So I don't have a ton to say on them. This is the same Tang face we've gotten a few times. Happy to see Tang in another set, because he's still not as common as he should be. This is, what, the fourth set he's coming now at this point? So it's good. They're making an improvement, but with how prominent he is in the show, he really should be in more sets. So it is very nice to get him here, even if it is in just, like, a generic spacesuit. But in terms of his accessories, he comes with sticks in a bowl and his alternate face is where he's like sighing or yawning as for sandy this is minifigure scale sandy he only comes in one other set but of course in this set he's in a spacesuit rather than his normal outfit minifigure scale sandy is a little weird i get why they changed it it's probably cheaper to produce him a minifigure scale and obviously you couldn't really do a spacesuit in a full big fig form but it definitely does not capture his personality as well as the sandy big fig in terms of his accessory though he has this little space blaster and no alternate face of course because the mohawk wouldn't work with the alternate face but there he is with his beard removed. He looks a little bit funny, but honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. Especially when you put him in a space helmet. Honestly, I think that looks pretty good. It captures Sandy pretty darn well. And it's the exact same space helmets as the other two. So from the back, all these figures look exactly the same. And then finally, the last of the good guys in the set, we have Robot Mo. This guy is really funny. I'm very curious to see the show to see if this guy's in it at all. And if so, like what his deal is, why he exists. But this is a really funny build. He's got the mohawk at the top, just like Sandy. He's got this digital cat face at the front, which doesn't have any printing, but it's honestly done pretty well. Like it's clear what that's supposed to be. The head can be moved up and down, so can this tail at the back. And then each of the legs is individually posable. They're just on skullkin arms and the feet can be moved. Yeah, he's a cute and fun little build. And I think that's a nice alternative to printing a spacesuit on Mo. Now, would I have loved a Mo in a spacesuit? Yes, of course, that would have been adorable, but I think this is a good compromise and is a very fun build in its own right. Here are the final two figures in the set, we have two shadow monkeys, we have Rumble and Savage. I say Rumble and Savage because that's their names in the box, but really they're all just shadow monkeys, they're all exactly the same. These two are exactly identical figures to each other as well as exactly identical to every other shadow monkey in every other set, so giving them names is a little bit pointless, but the box does, so I might as well mention it. Anyway, I've talked about these guys before in every other Monkey Kid review, so I'm not going to go too in depth here, but in short, I think the torso was fairly well designed overall, though it's kind of generic. I think the biggest issue with these guys is the lack of any leg printing. The torso is really detailed and I love the, like the overall smoky design but it just abruptly cuts off and it kind of ruins the sort of ominous feel they're going for. So yeah, in my opinion that's just not great. The idea of shadow monkeys is cool though and I like the red and black color scheme, that's fun. This guy in particular in terms of his accessory has like this saw blade with this purple cloud coming off of it. That's a trans purple cloud piece, super super cool. Comes in a few sets this way but always very nice to get. And then if we turn these guys around you can see they both have tails at the back or you can see one of them has a tail but trust when I say both of them have a tail. And then taking a look at him from the back, we move his tail down. There you can see his back torso print, as well as if I remove his hair, his lack of any alternate face. Back torso print, I have to say, is a lot better design than the front. I love how the smoke like swirls up and everything. It looks super cool. But yeah, unfortunately, these guys just feel generic and boring, and they come in so many sets. They're kind of cool in theory, but I wish there was more variety to them. Or I wish they had leg printing or something to make them more interesting. But putting that guy to the side, now we can take a look at the jetpack on this guy, and this is so cool. You can see he uses more of those transport cloud pieces at the bottom, but it's got these even bigger transport cloud pieces up at the top. I like the asymmetry on the jetpack backpack as well, how it's black on one side around the other. It just provides like a nice bit of variation. And each side can be moved up and down. You can see the right can go up, the black can go up and down, and the little individual individual wings on the sides can move up and down as well. Other than the jetpack, this guy comes with two Lloyd swords, which are cool. But yeah, not much else to say. Jetpack, very cool build, nice addition to an otherwise kind of boring figure. I appreciate that being included. I like it quite a bit. So what are my overall thoughts on this set? 
I do really like this set a lot. I'm actually quite impressed. I didn't have super high hopes for it. Not that I thought it looked bad. It was just, eh, yellow rocket ship wasn't really my thing. But no, once I built it, I was very impressed. The highlight to me for sure is the amount of interior. I love that there's room for every single figure in this set, as well as one figure from another set. I feel like there's a ton of fun to be had with this one. Now it is $130, and it is a very specific set, like Space Monkey Kid. You're not getting the generic forms of any character. It's very specialized, so it's definitely not going to be for everybody. However, if you're a big Monkey Kid fan or a big Space fan, I think this one is a great one to pick up. I appreciate the variety of characters included. Pixie is the only main character you don't get here as well as, I guess, a normal version of Mo, And the value for the price, too, is pretty good. Like, 130 is obviously expensive just in general, but is it worth $130? Yeah, I'd say so. So for sure, 100%, I'd recommend this set. This is one of the better ones, I think. I really like this set. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please press like, subscribe if you're new. I do like videos like this almost every day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.